Well, I remember it was about 8 o'clock. We were handing over the night call team with the day shift. So um, as we were talking, um, we received a standby message from the SCDF. It was a traumatic cardiac arrest of a pregnant lady who's six months pregnant. So there's a possibility of uh, two patients at the same time. So we decided to ask the night shift doctors and nurses to um, stay back. The decision was made by the paramedic to quickly transfer her to the nearest hospital, which was us. And uh, it was within the 30 minute mark that we managed to get the baby out immediately. And we were quite pleasantly surprised that she had a pulse in the end. I think that was the decision making point at that time um, that we need to transfer her to the closest neonatal intensive care unit. Because we do not have the incubator at that point of time, so we had to find an alternative to keep the baby warm. So what we did was we put her on a pillow, cover her with blanket and cling wrapped her as well. When we arrived, the team from Unteng Fong uh, Emergency Department was there together with the um, NUH Emergency Department team. So we got a handover about her condition. We noticed that she was a little bit bigger than what we expected for a 24-weeker. Uh, what struck us most of all was that um, her saturation was still borderline. As well as that, she was very uh, hypothermic. I think her temperature was about 31 degrees mm -hmm. Celsius. So that was a, a quite a worrisome uh, situation for, for us. We actually have a protocol where in the unit, only parents are allowed to visit their babies. So for baby units, instead of the parents, we actually guided the grandma, who is the main caregiver for baby units, uh, to prepare for the discharge. It was very crucial at that period of time to actually render emotional support. Today, she just so happened to come for her follow-up check. Mm -hmm. She's now um, eight months old, uh, with the corrected age of five months for her prematurity. And she's actually a very cheerful little girl. She'll look at you and she just gives you the the biggest smile ever. Mm. So I'm happy to report that she's growing very well and developmentally normal. So well, Eunice is basically around the house. You know, every, every movement that she does, you know, with her just looking at you, just make you feel happy. You know, she brings in the positive vibe at home, not just to me, but just to my in-laws, to my parents, to my siblings. On behalf of my family, I would like to thank the medical, medical team for giving me a miracle, giving me hope.